I was looking for different scholarships, and usually they're essay based or mm -hmm. there you send in your transcript and then your resume. But I wanted to do something a little more fun, a little more interactive, and I thought, hey, this is a really cool opportunity. A lot of people, I think they do like pageant coaches and things like that. I've never had any of that. Just mm. going in and trying to be myself, trying to make the judges laugh. I think a lot of people like go in like very serious, like I'm here to win it. I was kind of just going in like this is a great experience. I'm already really happy to just be here. Every single one of the girls that had competed is, are extremely qualified and all of them had fantastic talents. So I really went in expecting nothing just to have some fun. So um, when they announced the winner, I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Not what I, excited, what I expected, but I'm um, very thankful and extremely honored to be given that privilege. The mentality when I was growing up was, if you're lucky, you get to go to college. And I hated that mentality. I, I thought, you know, all of my friends here, they, they're smart enough to go to college, but I think it was more about financials. And I wanted to give the opportunity to other students who maybe um, don't come from like an environment where college is like the route that you take. So that's something I'm really passionate about and that I've been working on. So a lot of the things you can see in my EVP office is kind of geared towards K-12 communities. Um, we brought in like high school students for the tour and things like that. I praise all of the past EVPs who were even senators and who weren't because this was definitely a whole different experience and I don't think anything can really prepare you to be in an EVP position. One of the challenges about being um, in any exec position or elected position in the ASUC is there's never that ending point where you said, oh, goal accomplished. There's never going to be that point. If ever you feel at that point, you know, something, something's gone wrong. I think to be respected and to be recognized that I tried my best and I wanted to make a difference whether small or large, but to make people be more confident in the ASTC and its capabilities. I want people to know that we made the most out of it, that it wasn't just a year, me sitting here in front of the senators and chairing a meeting, but it was that I went out engaging in all corners of campus and trying to make people um, have a better college experience. That's always something I'm trying to work on is anything that we do, it can be practical and useful, not just your time in college, but you learn something that you can um, develop, continue developing on post-college. Honestly, it's always like, if there's a new opportunity, I always say, yes, let's give it a shot. I'm never scared or daunted by a task. Some of them I'm like, wow, that's going to be really challenging, but I'm always, I guess, saying yes to things like, yeah, let's try it, let's, let's do this.